Today I wanted to get together with you guys and just practice making hearts on my nails. It's been a really long time since I've drawn hearts and so I wanted to show you from the beginning where I start to mess up to the end where I get a little bit better with drawing hearts on my nails. I'm using this color as a base color and it's called Whitney by Julep and it just looks like this. You can use any color that you'd like for the background. Then I'm using just other pretty colors that I feel match. With the, with the background color. Then I'm just taking a regular bobby pin, opening it up like so, and then I dipped it into the Nicole Red. You can use any color that you'd like to start your heart. I'm pressing my pinky down onto my hand. You can also press it down to the table. This will add more control and balance as you dot your nails. So here you can see I created one little dot. I tried to create a similar dot on the second try but I ended up making it a little bit too large so what I did is I went back to the first one and just made it the same size as the second one then with the toothpick I'm just dragging the color downward until I have a perfect outline at the bottom which is going to create that little triangle shape so that's my first little heart it didn't come out too great Second one, I just did the two little dots and then I decided to angle my hand like so to create the little triangle at the bottom. I started to get better as I progressed. Then I moved on to my middle finger and as you can see, my little hearts are just starting to get a lot better. It takes a lot of practice and you cannot expect yourself to be good with the first try, especially if you're not a professional nail art person. Here you can see I'm adding another little color on top of the dark color, like so. And this is just going to add a different little kind of look to the nail. But you know, you don't have to do this. Here you can see I'm working on my right hand with my left hand. And that's the most difficult part as far as drawing on your hands. But what I did is I placed my right hand flat down on the surface wherever I'm, I'm working. In this case, I was working on a table. And then I used my left hand to draw the little bottom part upward. Another thing you can do is you can move your right hand around and then just let your left hand do the work but not any of the moving around. So here you can see I'm moving my right hand around and then just kind of keeping my left hand almost in the same position. With my thumb, I just brought it forward and more closer to my face as I drew this little heart with just the bobby pin and no toothpick. Another thing I want to mention is that when you are using the toothpick or the bobby pin with a little bit of nail polish, you only get about one to two strokes per dip. Here you can see that I'm adding a little star, a little glitter star. You can also add heart stars if you'd like. And here you can see I'm creating the heart with just the toothpick. So what I do is I create a little roundness on one side and then I make it a little bit more round on the other side and then I connect it at the bottom. So these are all my little hearts. Some of them look okay, some of them don't look so great, but again, practice makes perfect. For those of you who are broken hearted, you can just take a little bit of the background color and dip your little toothpick in it and start creating zigzag drawings across the middle part of the heart and this will make the heart look like it's broken. I hope that's not the case, but you know, just in case you wanna do this, this is just something that can add a nice little touch. So these are all of my little hearts so far. And if you add a bit of top coat, it will of course give you lots of shine and make the design look a lot better. So I hope that you guys have been inspired and that you will practice. Now on to reading your comments. Congratulations on being first and I will also be giving you a prize. Congratulations on being second. You will also get a prize this week. And this is the random comment winner which will get a prize and also a little t-shirt. If you guys would like to see how I created this Janet Jackson inspired beehive, go ahead and click here on this video or I will also put a link in the description bar. Thank you guys so much for watching.